What's going on guys? Today I, well not today, yesterday I spilled water on my MacBook keyboard and now and now it's actually not working properly. Uh, luckily I have an external keyboard that lying around from when I had my tower and I'm using that with a mouse so technically half of the keys on my keyboard is not working and I've researched I'm trying to disable this uh, keyboard so that I can not worry about accidentally touching anything while I'm working on the computer which uh, sucks because you know like I'm, you know, I'm working on it and then I accidentally touch something then it's a pain in the butt so if you uh, messed up your keys and you want to disable your keyboard from your MacBook it's a little tough but I think I figured it out or we'll see how it goes actually so here's my keyboard here's uh, my Mac this is uh, a 2011 model but it's uh, running on OS X I believe let's see what I actually have yet I'm on Sierra right now so we will see how it goes what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this program Carabiner and uh, I'll let that load If we can find that carabiner, let's launch this key. Oh, no. All right, we're gonna click this and we're gonna disable internal keyboard while using external keyboards are connected. No, for Logitech Unify users. Pause it. All right, click that. Now, you know, all right, so let's see if that works. Yeah, it's still working. All right, I just did something and it looks like for the Sierra, which is what I have, Carabiner is, is currently not um, unable to use. It doesn't support it. Okay, this Mac OS Sierra support status. It does not support Mac Sierra, so that doesn't work. But they do have what they call the Carabiner Elements that will work for Sierra. So I've just downloaded that. And let's see how this one uh, goes. Alright. Let's go to trash. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Elements. Let's try this one. All right, I clicked devices and it says Apple internal keyboard is checked. I'm going to uncheck that. And let's see what happens. All right, my keyboard. That looks fine. Now let's try this. It's not working. It's still working. What's going on? I am now. I unclick that, which is disable. And let me click this, which means disable while this is on. Oh, come on. So I am plugged in. Look. It's not working. Yeah, finally, 
Track pad still works, but the keyboard itself. We actually need trackpad so I can move around, which is fine. Nothing wrong with the trackpad, but the keyboard is poop. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yay. So, carabiner elements is the key. I think this video is longer than it should be, but for those that have the same problem as me, spilled water in this, doesn't work well, and now I'm using this, which is cool because I can just now lay this on top and not have to worry about I'm not going to actually do it like that, but for the most part, I don't have to worry about that keyboard anymore because it's disabled thanks to this Carabino Elements, and I believe they're probably going to come up with a updated version with the original, with the Carabiner program, but that's it so that's how we disable our uh, keyboard that took me a couple hours to figure out because nowhere online shows how to disable it you know no videos at least and the videos that are up are like really really old so hopefully this helped you guys out because it helped me out and uh and if it updates i'll try and make another video for that because i don't know every time Back updates we'll have to get a new you know I'll have to redo it again that's just the way it works all right thanks for watching bye